Have you ever wanted to get something done? I'm talking about something big, something really big. Maybe it's connecting with a podcast guest that's completely out of your reach, or maybe getting a dream job that you didn't think is possible. Well, in today's book review, we are going to talk about an author who can literally get anything done for his clients, and I mean anything. What's up, guys? My name is Jonathan. I'm the host here at the Venue RX podcast, and it's not just a podcast. It's actually a whole channel filled with tech reviews, business and mindset videos, all sorts of different content that is meant to help you pursue your potential and really be able to live a better life, not only personally, but also in the business realm. So we do these book reviews. This is the third book review. Today we're interviewing, uh, interviewing, I say, uh, we actually did interview Steve Sims, the author of this book, Blue Fishing. We interviewed him on the show a couple weeks back and I would absolutely love if you went ahead and check that video out. I'm gonna put the link to that in the description below as well as somewhere in this video so you can go ahead and click on that and check out that interview. Steve is so much fun. He has incredible stories and the advice that he gives is really, really appropriate to standing out in today's very loud, very busy world. You know, if you're trying to get a job or you're trying to start a business and you're trying to connect with more clients, blue fishing is a concept that he describes about how to really connect with other people and get things done in a way that is not common at all. And I have to tell you, this man is the master of doing things that aren't common. Uh, it's the endorsed on the back here by Forbes magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, uh, Sir Elton John. This man has worked with the Pope. He's worked with Elon Musk. I mean, his, his Rolodex of people that he's worked with is just insane. So definitely a, a good person to listen to. Uh, it's a very readable book and it's about um, 200 pages long. 20 chapters. So like I said, very readable, fairly short, but really, really to the point and not a lot of fluff in this book. Uh, you're going to get some fun stories, which make it very, very readable, but you know, he gets straight to the point and it's packed full of amazing uh, business advice and also advice for your personal life. Uh, again, like I said, 200 pages, 20 chapters. Uh, each chapter is about five to 10 pages long. So again, it's a great book to pick up, you know, throw in your backpack or whatever, and then pick up if you just have 20, 30, 40 minutes, you can kind of get through it pretty quickly without having to sit down and, you know, have hours and hours of time to read and make progress in it. All right, let's get right into this book. I can't wait to share it with you. Again, we did interview Steve on the podcast, so check that out link out. Uh, you're not going to want to miss that. He's a, he's a funny guy. He's, he's really awesome. Um, all right. So chapter one, and I'm basically going to paraphrase a lot of what he says. I'm just going to hit the high points. It's too much for me to go through. This video would be hours and hours, and I don't really want to read it to you. I really want to just present you with the concepts so that you can go out and if it strikes your fancy, if you're interested and excited to learn more, pick up a copy of this book and check it out. No, Steve didn't pay me to say that. It's just a really good book and I, I highly recommend it. Um, he talks, he shares about knocking down walls and that's chapter one. And I think that that is a huge thing that so many people struggle with. Uh, he talks, he doesn't say it as much, but it's this idea of identity. You know, he shares the story of his mom, how she was window shopping and he suggested they go in and look at, at a purse or something that she wanted. And she was like, no, 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 that's for other people. You know, and I, I think there's a transition that happens with a lot of people as they're trying to become something else. They're trying to become a professional athlete or they're trying to become a gym owner. Or they're trying to become a doctor, you know, or they're trying to become a business owner, an entrepreneur, right? There's this shift that happens. And now all of a sudden they go from being you know, someone who loves to party, like in my case, you know, I partied a lot when I was younger, uh, to being a, you know, a, a business person, someone who's really serious about their future and someone who really wanted to push myself to get to the next level. And so during that time, there's an identity shift that happens. And he talks about that in chapter one, you know, that's for other people. Uh, he also has a wonderful quote from his dad that says, you don't drown from falling in the water, you drown from staying there. And I think that's a foundational point of this whole book and really a foundational point for anyone listening to this if you're trying to go from point A to point B in your life. If you're really trying to get something huge done, you've got to not stay in the water. You can't be complacent, you can't stay where you're at, you have to be determined to make a change and to be willing to take on that new identity of where you're trying to go. Um, to Power of the Password, he shares a hilarious story about how this whole blue fishing thing took place. Uh, one fish, two fish, red fish, Blue Fish, he actually tried to um, rename his company at one point and shares a story of this in the book. And then people didn't realize it, you know, they didn't identify his brand 
with the new name. They wanted Bluefish, the Bluefish, or you know, Bluefishing. So then he went back and renamed it. Uh, but cool, cool story there. Um, chapter three, he talks really all about how the thing that you're offering to someone can't just be good for you. It has to be good for others too. And so I think that specifically comes into play when you're asking uh, something of someone and whether that is their time, their money, their effort, their attention on your life, right? If you're asking for a coach or a mentor, or you're asking someone to buy something from you or someone to come on your podcast or be a guest on your blog or whatever it is, you need to make sure there's something good in it for them too. So he talks about that. Uh, four, be the real deal. Just talks about being genuine. Um, five, no passion, no point. Um, I love chapter six and chapter 19. Both talk about failure. And I think failure is one of those things that's really not talked about because it's not fun. It's not sexy. It's not uh, exciting to fail or make mistakes. But, you know, failure is more discovery. Failure is an opportunity to go out and fall on your face and find out how something doesn't work. Right. And in chapter nine, he goes through or chapter 19, rather, he goes through that a little bit more. So we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, chapter seven, eight, be afraid of standing still the idea of complacency. And again, that thing, you don't drown by falling in the water. You drown from staying there. So again, if you're in a spot in life right now that you're broke or you're dissatisfied with how life's going, don't stop there. Don't stay stuck in that area. Don't stay in the water. You will drown, right? Get out of that. Keep moving. There's that whole saying, like, if you're going through hell, keep going, right? Don't allow yourself to stay stuck in a place that you don't like. And you can stay stuck by complaining. You can stay stuck by just pacifying yourself with a little bit of pleasure during this tough time that never allows you to experience the full pain of it. So it never really pushes you out of it. That's just a little side to it. Uh, from from my own life. Uh, chapter nine, ugly work. So that first part is perfectly imperfect. And I love this because you have to execute, you have to get stuff done, you have to put a product out in the market before you discover that it needs fixing. You know, uh, Sam Bakhtiar said, another gentleman who uh, unfortunately has passed, but who was on this podcast as well said, you have to systematize before you optimize. And I love that saying, I try to live by that saying, you've got to start executing. You can't go out there and try to make something perfect before you get something done. And so this idea of perfectly imperfect, you know, you gotta go out there and do something before you try to make it all fancy. Don't allow yourself to get caught in the trap of perfection. Uh, 10, personal branding is perfect. I love this chapter because he talks about a hilarious uh, time where he basically rented a big yacht. He was invited by Ferrari to go out to this, this whole event in Monaco. And he basically took a picture. He had rented a huge yacht and he had took a picture. He was going to take a picture next to it. And instead there was some other yacht that was a bit bigger than his. And so he actually, you know, drove his car up a little bit more and posed outside of the bigger yacht because he wanted to be seen as this guy with this really big yacht. And he said he keeps this picture because it reminds him how silly that is. Now, I think that's silly. Obviously, it's a, a silly example, but in our lives, it's so easy to put on this person that we think that the world wants to see, right? Or our community wants to see when in fact we need to be us. Right. And for Steve, that was, you know, his signature black shirt. That's, you know, his his vibe that he gives out. He shouldn't be in a suit. He shouldn't be all dressed up and fancy. That's not him. And he points that out here. And so I think for each one of us, it's important to think, who am I and how do I bring the best version of that to the table? Not trying to dress different, act different, talk different so that we can fit in with whatever we think people want. No, we need to be ourselves and we need to be genuine in that and deliver value. Um, going through it more, power of saying no, 12, the art of delegation, 13, what makes a brand great, uh, really talks about uh, focusing on strengths and ignoring your weaknesses here, which I absolutely love. I don't think that we can talk enough about that. 14, the art of speaking human. 15, give them a reason to believe. 16, sponge it up. Uh, 17, live with passion and move with persistence. 18, actually give a damn. You know, you have to focus in anything that you want to see a result in you've got to focus on it and you've got to be passionate and committed and you've got to give a damn, right? He talks about focusing on the relationship and, you know, actually engaging and caring about the people that you're serving, caring about your audience as a creator, caring about, you know, what the audience, your clients, your guests want to hear from you uh, and, and what their experience is. And so modifying the experience based on that, um, someday doesn't mean anything, clear your head enough to hear it, 
love that. Um, in a different book review, we're going to talk all about uh, mentality and mindset. And I can't wait to get into that book, but clearing your head enough to hear it totally huge. 19, don't count your losses. So this is another one of those ones that talks about failure. And I think, again, this is important because, you know, just like the previous, previous chapter that we spoke about that discusses failure, you know, failure is often viewed as this negative thing and people fear failure. And oftentimes people fear, you know, not doing something perfectly, right? We talked about that in chapter nine. This is so important to think about. Like failing is just that other step. You've got to make mistakes in order to succeed. And so literally by being afraid of failure, you're cutting off your chances of being successful at all. No one was successful without making those mistakes. So just a bit of encouragement uh, there. Stop counting your losses. Be as selfish as you have to be. And then 20 basically gives a 45 step synopsis of uh, what so that's the end end chapter uh, basically gives you like this blue fishing playbook right in the end so just basically a bunch of um, 45 basic steps that are summarized in this book so if you don't want to read the book I guess you could skip right to the end but this is a wonderful book it has it's filled with stories very very engaging and I just want to thank Steve for coming on the podcast uh, he was a lot of fun to listen to he has a really cool uh, coaching program called the Speakeasy and a Sims Distillery. He's on Facebook. He's on Instagram. Uh, go check him out and pick up a copy of Blue Fishing. Highly recommend. If you like this book review, you want to hear more book reviews, make sure you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and leave a question or leave a comment down below. Actually, uh, if you've read this book or if you know about what Steve talks about at all, comment your favorite part. I would love to hear that. Uh, and you could also comment further books that we should review because I'm always open to suggestions. So, anyway, thanks guys for joining us for this book review, and we'll see you in the next video.